Hey guys, this is uh, not going to be a happy video like always. I did something uh, really bad. Uh, this is going to be a public apology. Um, I cheated on my honor. I don't condone this type of behavior. She was just so fucking, she was just so fucking hot, man. She was just so hot. She's fucking fire, bro. I'm sorry, Celine, but I'm gonna cheat on you and so sell them angry, baby! Sell them angry, best time! Let's go! I'm joking, baby, I'm joking. I'm joking! Sell them angry is not the best deck, you're the best deck. You're the best deck. But sell them angry is the second best deck, baby. So today's video, I'm gonna showcase you guys. Sell them angry, cause it's the best fucking deck after pendulums. Let's go! I still love you though. Mwah! I love you. I love you. You're, you're the best. Oh, you're the best deck. I love you the most. You're better than Solomon Great. But today's video, I'm sure I guess you guys Solomon Great and 20 fucking duels with it of just clapping the meta. Solomon Great is probably the best deck after Pendulum, but not your average trash ass Solomon Great. Solomon Great with 20 traps is fucking virtually unstoppable. Go first or go second. If you guys are ready for this video, I want you guys to smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, and go check out down below on the Triv Coaching, baby. Amazing perks, especially for yearly members. And with that being said, it's time, baby, to get started on some Salaman Great Greatness. Let's go! And before we get into this awesome video, make sure you guys to go on TripGaming.com. I just restocked seven different mats. So instead of having one mat like normal, there's seven mats on the website. Some mats only have one or two left, but we have two magician mats left. So go check it out right now, tripgreen.com, and see if you guys can get the last mats remaining for the trip collection. Anyways, enjoy the video. Let's go, boys. Salaman, great greatness, baby. Let's go. The girlfriends can wait for this one. We got the mistress for this one, baby. We got the Salaman greats with 25 traps. So the beauty of Salaman great 25 traps, we got like 10 matches for you guys. So I'm just gonna fucking fast forward all 10 matches and showcase just how good this actually is. So the idea behind Foxy, we obviously get cocked there to, to Kobo, but that's fine. Foxy is just so good in this deck because the reason why you wanna play 25 traps is going second, you have access to Salaman Great, the counter trap, and the counter trap is like you're playing six Solemn Strikes. If you play three counter traps of, of Salaman Great and you play three Solemn Strike, you have six fucking Solemn Strikes. So against uh, any combo deck, you're safe. And uh, when you set five with the Solemn Strike, Especially like a Solemn Judgment or a Negate Anything, like the Salaman Great one, you're just fucking golden. That's why you want to play three Foxy to search the trap card. Sometimes they won't negate the Foxy, they'll just try and bounce it. And uh, yeah, that's just fucking game. Easy. So here, he, my opponent didn't have a side deck, so I'm like, that's fine. None of us will side. Clearly, he opened the Metal of Fusion by sending a random card. He Solemns this, which is unfortunate for me. And I'm still in a great situation. This is the beauty of Salaman Great. This is the beauty of it. Look at this. Imperial Order, Solemn Strike, Roar, Rage. All I need to do now is open any Salaman Great and the game's over. Uh, so we're, it's obviously going to be a little slow. We got Dragwar, he Solemn Judgments that again, which is very unlucky. But that's fine. You know, there's nothing you can do in that scenario. We're 2,000 off from winning. At this point, Ice Prison, I'm thinking if I should like wait for him to get a Ray. I should maybe uh, get rid of the Ray and then Ice Prison and attack him 1,500 type of thing. I'm almost there. I'm, I'm going to kill him shortly. He goes Demise. For some fucking odd reason, I wasn't paying attention. I did an Imperial Order. I wasn't paying attention at all. This is my mistake, you know? I didn't pay attention. Uh, it's just my error, you know? I'll hold that mistake. So, uh, I think on the Demise, I told him Imperial Order. Yeah, I don't know what happened here. Uh, we're, he was playing way too fast. But anyways, this should be in the extra deck because I fucking Imperial Ordered it. But it's fine. We'll continue. Uh, and you can't special summon because I'm Imperial Ordered. But this is, this is totally fine. I just imperial ordered for some weird reason late. And we'll see if it costs me. I was just kind of asleep there. That's just my fault. I saw him strike that. And I think at this point, I know, recognize I have game. I go debug. Uh, he can't use, obviously, because imperial order. And uh, that's just game there. So I just search. Uh, he goes to Koba. I'm like, that's fine. Ice prison, take your card. Attack for game, GG. <laughs> that's deck. I'll show you guys another one now. This is another replay. We're just going to go fast forward. Fast, fast, fast. We've got lots of duels here, man. I want to showcase just how good this is. It's probably going to be a long video, but this deck is just so good. Like you guys are going to see, this deck is just extremely powerful. So this version, as you guys see here, uh, I'm playing, uh, this is not the trap version. So the second version, the first deck, uh, the first version I played was trap version. I want to showcase some different versions. 
Spank me, daddy. That's fucking weird. Okay, anyways. So here I'm playing a version with more extenders, like Parallel Exceed. Maybe like nine hand traps max with Cosmics and shit. Like, not that much. Like, nine defensive cards. So here I'm focusing more on a turbo-eccentric build. Just to showcase the different versions. I've tested lots of different versions of this deck. Just to showcase, just to, for myself to know what's the absolute best version. And as you see here, he's playing Paleo. This is just, I mean, this is an easy game for me. There's nothing he can do to stop this. So uh, I'm playing... Let's go Axis Gold, pop, that's protected. I'm like, that's fine. I'm just gonna draw here. Uh, it doesn't matter my cards are on my deck because this is over the following turn. There's just nothing he can do. It, it's just over. Uh, I know almost summon here. I just fucking enter Battle Phase type of game. So uh, that's it for that. We're gonna go to the second game here. And at the end of the day, uh, the beauty of Salad is you can play multiple ways. You can play with counter traps. You can play with uh, defensive cards like Twin Twister or Hand Traps. You can play this multiple ways. So uh, he goes pot into Scythe. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, he pops his own scythe. That was the reason behind it. I'm like, that's fine. I chained to pop Twin Twister. He didn't uh, anti spell standby, which I would have just fucking chained Twin Twister. But uh, yeah, so the scythe comes out. Uh, the scythe negates all my cards. I'm like, that's fine. I'm just going to try and plus here. I'm playing the trap version. Do you see how good that is? All these cards will be traps right now. I don't play Sandy Mining in the trap build because it can't afford neg ones. It just can't do it. You could just slow roll your opponent until you eventually draw into your starters. You play Debug, Foxy. They're all your best starters. Uh, so you like the will, the Sandy Mining, and will. All these three would be traps. And so you see how good the trap version actually is. I think after this, I'm like, fuck every ver South Ranger version that isn't traps. I understand you have sight, but still, like, it's so easily susceptible to hand traps as well. So I go Sandy Mining with Gazelle. He's gonna bounce. I'm like, that's fucking, that's fine. Uh, summon, 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 <laughs> swing, swing, like, it's easy, this is just, it's, I'm facing a shit deck, so, uh, this is easy, I bounce the scythe, knowing that I just want to get it off the field, <coughs> I just want to see what card that is, I need a 2000, I just want to see it, I'm like, okay, bounce, get that, set up interruptions, and that's it, so he goes Sanctum, he plays two scythe, it seems, I'm like, I negate the effect, and this is just game. So, we're gonna go to the next game as soon as this is a quick OTK here. Well, not OTK. Oh, yeah, it is OTK. He's at 8,000. So, this is a one turn kill. Easy. Okay, I have five cards in hand. You can just showcase the advantage of what this deck can do uh, and how good it actually is. We're gonna go to the next game. This is the next game. Like I said, there's gonna be a lot of games here. Just so you guys can actually learn uh, the second best deck out, the best deck out, the Pendulum. So, here, this is a hand trap version. I think I'm playing Salamander Gift in this version. This version that you're seeing is like 15 hand trap version. I'm gonna showcase you guys like multiple deck profiles at the very end of the video. If you're a Salamangre player, this video is fucking like your one-stop shop for everything you want to see Salamangre. So uh, the reasoning behind uh, I go like the hand traps for this is I just want to see how good it is. And Gift is incredibly good for this version uh, simply because uh, I don't know why. I, I, I did not use Falco to set the circle, which is fucking stupid. I was very greedy using it to bounce the gazelle I wanted to do, but obviously he just didn't allow that to happen. I should have used the Falco to set the circle. If I use the Falco to set the circle, it wouldn't merit him like getting rid of my cards, and I would have been in a perfect scenario. Now I'm stuck with a Nibiru Phantasm against Zephyra. Do you guys see how traps are just fucking better? But again, you gotta put in the due diligence work. You gotta you gotta do your best to at least see what's what's good in this version. Uh, he opts for this Zephyra Necroz card. I'm like, it's fine. I draw another Phantasm. I'm like, fuck. I am fucked in this scenario. He goes Zephyr Path, and the second I see Zephyr Path, I'm like, wow. Salamangre fucking loses to this one card alone. So, I honestly, I don't even see how we could defeat this. There's no way Salamangre, unless I play Nightmare Phoenix. This is the scenario where I realize maybe Nightmare Phoenix belongs in this extra deck because it'll help with the Kobo and it'll help for floodgates like this. You guys see that? Fucking, I drank water and went in my beard, more, more in my beard and my shirt than my fucking mouth. Anyways, I'm gonna save you guys some time. I'm gonna lose this game. <laughs> Uh, I was very close here. Actually, I want some judges in the chat if you guys are watching this right here. So, he, he extends a little too much here. Not uh, respecting Nibiru. Which, he should, if you're playing uh, Zephyr, you should respect Nibiru every single turn. Because it'll be dead in their hand forever. So, I Nibiru here. Is it possible to Nibiru with Zephyr Path? I think that if I Nibiru with Zephyr Path in the field, everything gets tributed. And then Zephyr, uh, and then Nibiru stays in my hand. But everything gets tributed. Is that true? Or am I just not allowed to resolve Nibiru? Because it specials a token, which is not from my hand. So what happens with Zephyr Path and Nibiru? So can you guys let me know? Because if you guys, like, if I knew the answer to that, if, if I'm right, I win on my following turn. But unfortunately, I don't, and I lose this game. So 
So let me know, no, guys. I, I, I legit can't deal with Zephyr Path. Uh, at least without side decking, I can't deal with Zephyr Path. Because I don't have Nightmare Phoenix in my deck. So here I go Debug into Gazelle. Uh, debug, I link into this. And I'll, he's playing Zephyr. Zephyr could play Hand Traps. Uh, definitely, like, you should. There's room for, like, fucking 12 defensive cards at least in there. But I play this a little differently. Uh, I go this, search, I get that. I add that. I just want to set up as many negates as possible. <laughs> Draws the, the Ash a little bit late. He pops my uh, Roar. Uh, he goes Cyberstein. I'm like, fuck, not again, bro. He goes Exterior. I'm like, this is just fine. I don't know why I didn't Cosmic something. Uh, but that's fine. I'll just get rid of the Exterior. Easy peasy. He Ashes my Debug, which is totally fine. I go into Heat Leo to balance, and he just recognize games by chain link to uh, the Ab Gazelle as well, and Gazelle will just be game by itself. So here uh, I, I go, he makes me go first, it seems. Oh, this, yeah, this is a new game, new match. Oh no, he makes me go first, which is interesting. So I go Circle, he Ashes, I go Jaguar, and as you see here, this is the beauty of, of Salamangre. It's a one card engine deck that has a bunch of hand traps and defensive cards. So it's very interesting. And, and I really enjoy uh, playing cards. Like it's like a control version, you know, coming from like 10,000 negates, playing control version. So here you look at his hand, he's playing some weird shit. Fucking Gizmet Kaku, preparation of rights in. I don't, I don't know what the hell he's smoking here, but I guess, hey, if that's his play style, playing weird shit, that's fine. I play weird shit all the time. He draws into D shifter a little late. And here he, he, he definitely just breaks. He doesn't have much here. He obviously does it for a Brio to get a low scale, uh, but that's just not worth it. Uh, so he gets rid of that, I'm like, that's totally fine. Uh, at base, I go circle, I'm like, this is fine. <laughs> I just, this is just easy win here. I get circle, this is why circle is limited, it's because you can just get circle back every single turn, uh, which is unfortunate. If circle was a three, it'd probably be one of like, the most played deck. So not because of the search, uh, searchability, it's because when you get the circle, you get the circle every single turn because of wolf. That's why it's, it's just stupid. And if you want to get the interruption, you just use Roar's effect to set it. So, this is just too good. I just update Jam and kill him here. So that's game for this one. I have like 10 more amazing ones here. I have so many matches here. I have so many matches here. I don't want this video to be like fucking 50 minutes. So, uh, maybe I'll show a few more and then I'll just post the rest on Patreon. But this is, I have like fucking 20 good matches with Salamangre. This is just an incredible deck. Like, it really is. And honestly, it's not even because of Stalio. Stalio doesn't do jack shit. Stalio just gets in the beard. Stal all Stalio does is it makes your end board a Nibiru token. That's all Stalio does. I understand it gives you a better turn one if, if you don't get Nibiru, but I'm at man, like that's a pretty big part, bro. You know? So here we end with Gazelle and Roar. So we'll see what uh, he does. I have Nibiru as well. He, we're playing against Virtual World, which uh, I think Virtual World sucks, man. It's my I thought I thought Virtual World sucked when I was at full power. Did it, anything even get hit? Oh, VFD. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Bro, Virtual World sucked at full power. It's not good without VFD. So, you guys will see what I mean here. So, he's going to try and Zeus here. I'm like, I really don't give a shit about Zeus. I'm just going to uh, let him get rid of his uh, his Tucci. And then, before he ends turn, I Nibiru. And I just kill him here easily. <laughs> Very easily. He had a Gamma, but the token stopped him. And I'm going to go my turn. So, uh, his turn, sorry. So he has a Nibiru, which obviously kills Salamangri. I try and respect Nibiru as much as I can. And you, sh you should, especially Game 2 and Game 3. The Biru is in everyone's side deck. I, I don't think people are main decking it, but it's like played against every combo deck. So, so now he goes into the, uh, he's gonna set up some sorry ass board. Uh, the sad thing about Salamangre is I'm pretty sure Salamangre loses to one Chen Chen, uh, which is hilarious, but that's fucking fine. Uh, so I go debug here. I'm obviously gonna cause him the trap card, and I just have to think here how can I actually like this is when I realize Chen Chen just kills this deck. I go into that uh, Cosmic Cyclone. Uh, I go for that, I Desires, and I think at this point I, I'm struggling a little bit. I'm like, how the fuck do you beat a Shen Shen? And then I go Wolf, like, this is actually hard. I think I'll have to Salamangre Rage the Shen Shen. Uh, traps will defeat it very easily. Uh, but I think maybe I'll set up, a, I kill the, the Lulu in my mind. Uh, maybe what I should have done was, uh, yeah, just, I don't know, man. There's just no way to do it. Like, I couldn't trigger, I, I could not trigger a Gazelle because I don't have Spinny or Sign and Mining. So, yeah. I just have to wait and hold, hold off with the rage. So he Nibiru's at the end, which works out for me, but this doesn't die. So I have rage, which I have to use rage to get rid of the Shen Shen, and then my following turn I have to top deck something good. So he top decks a fucking Kowloon, which is insane. 
but that's fine. Oh, actually, he's not that insane. He's gonna fucking discard it anyways. Or she discarded Yen then. Yeah, okay, that's what he did something like that. Okay. So he goes this, and um, that's fine. I'm just gonna cosmic the Truchi when it reactivates it. I get rid of that, and now my debug is what I have left. And, you know, this, should, this should be game. So I cosmic that. Uh, when he uses it, I spinny or Jaguar. Oh, yeah, this should just be game right here. Uh, I go into that, I get access code. Did I have game, bro? I actually think I had game, game. Oh, no, this is un unaffected. I didn't have game because I couldn't kill this. Uh, he's left with, uh, yeah, I wolf. Oh, that was a great play on my end. I go Hita at the end to get my interruption back. Uh, so I protect, and this is should just be game. Uh, pop, yeah. So that was, that was well played in my end. I, I got the W back. All right, so we got another duel here. Uh, we're nearing 15 minutes in the video. Uh, we still got deck profiles as well, so I don't want this to exceed 20 minutes because 20 minute videos no one watches. So what I'm gonna do now is for the other like 10 matches that I have, I'm just gonna make it a pay on a Patreon. So if you guys do want to check out Salamangre testing, I don't just talk about Yu-Gi-Oh on my or, uh, about uh, pendulums on my testing. Oh, hold that thought. <laughs> DD Crow and Miss get fucked, bro. DD Crow this format's sick. DD Crow the Benten. DD Crow the Miscellaneous. DD Crow the Engage, bro. Oh my god, I love Crow, bro. Crow the Gazelle when they try and uh, uh, when they get against Salamangre when they have like a uh, graveyard full of Link monsters and then they go uh, Wolf Effect to add back the Gazelle. <laughs> See ya. Uh, fuck, fucking beautiful. Anyways. As I was saying, is I'll post the other Salamangre duels on my Patreon because I don't want to post like a 50, like a one hour video. I have like 30 matches with it. So if you guys want to check that out, go sign up on my Patreon down below in the description. I don't just talk about Pendulums. I talk about every single deck that I like. Mainly Pendulums, but I talk about every deck that I think is good. And I really like absolutely think uh, Salamangre is the best. In this version, I tried multiple different versions. I tried an extender version. I tried a hand trap version with Salamangre Gift. The idea behind Salamangre Gift, I just didn't get to open it anytime or, or, or search it is you play 15 hand traps. So if you go gift, you're drawing two cards and setting up your graveyard. So it's a plus, it's a draw two and send one. The send one counts as a draw because you're send, sending Salaman Great Mole and Salaman Great Mole uh, is gonna be uh, getting you a draw. So it's like just uh, three cards that are getting a plus for you from one card. And then out of the two cards that you're drawing that specific turn, you're drawing a hand trap. So Salaman Great Roar or Rage is like one interruption, right? I understand it's a counter trap, but it's one interruption, right? Well, you're drawing a hand trap at least if you're playing 15 hand traps out of your two draws. So you're not just drawing an interruption, but you're drawing another card too. And because it's a counter, it's a, it's a continuous trap, you're drawing every single turn. That's why Salaman Great uh, Gift is actually not that bad. In a deck that plays 15 hand traps, it's a good good card. So, but the best version is the trap version, which you can't play Salaman Great Gift on the trap version because for one, you just play little monsters, you can't resolve gift. And for two, you don't play hand traps. So you're not drawing into any interruptions. So Salaman Great Gift uh, is very good hand trap version, but I think the best version is the trap version, which I'll showcase as soon as I win this match. Uh, as you guys see here, like one misc, you just can't do shit. You can't do anything. If that misc is banished, uh, you're, you're done. You use you get, get misc every single turn one, but like the follow up is just dead. That's why it, it's a big issue. My opponent is playing cool, like synchro version of this. I have double Veiler, so I'm fine. Uh, if this was the trap version, I'd have four traps because the will would be a trap. But of course, you play more wills in this version. Uh, you can just play more extenders. Here, he clearly has a Gamma, obviously. This is the most obvious telltale sign of Gamma. I go Mole. Clearly, I'm playing the Gift version, which Mole is very good for because uh, you want to send it. Uh, I kind of bait him into doing that. I know for a fact that he has Gamma, so I save this. So I can attack the Lambda first. I set up my, I'm trying to set up my Salaman Great Rage. Uh, to be as good as possible. Uh, oh, yeah, I just pop everything. I don't even go for some. Oh, I, I don't even go for Sovereign Great Rage. I'm just like, I don't even give a fuck. I just uh, pop that. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna go main phase two. I know he has a Gamma. I know he has a Gamma for a fact. So I'm playing around Gamma the entire time. Uh, I just enter battle 2353. That's not even game. What am I doing? I th Oh, I think I, I, I don't want to risk a Gamma. That's what it was. I know I have three hand traps. I don't want to risk Gamma. Uh, and I don't think I'd game through Gamma. If I went for the Cyber play, I got, got gamma I knew he had Gamma because of Lambda. Like, he didn't search it. I just fucking, it's a telltale sign. So I think I just kept this up. I'm putting him on a one-turn clock. He absolutely needs to clear access code. Uh, he absolutely needs to clear my whole field. With Double Veiler, Crow, and a Salamangre Rage, he can't do that. I think main base two here, I'm just thinking I should just keep them both. Oh, I go, sorry, I just link another Bailings to protect twice. He draws into Petite. I'm like, okay. I just enter battle thinking I don't want to pop it in case it's a baby. 
uh, which it was a baby, and I played that fucking perfectly easy game. So that's the that's the duels for you guys. I'll showcase the other duels on Patreon. Now I'm gonna showcase two different deck profiles for this deck, three different deck profiles for this deck. So you guys can like learn how to play South Mangray better. I'm a huge believer in this deck right now. Not because this end board is ass. It's not about the monsters. It's the idea that uh, it, it's a it's a one card, two card, it's a two card combo deck, one card combo deck. Even if you just end on a wolf, you're protected with your four or five defensive cards. And then if they don't kill that wolf, you lose. They lose. I'll show you guys the deck profiles right now. So this is deck profile number one. This is the trap version. Uh, so this version, you focus on triple debug, triple uh, foxy. You want these to be your normal summon. You want to use their effects. Foxy, you because you play triple roar, like I said, the idea of roar is going second. You want to open the roar. You want to like draw it. You have the roar backed up with these traps. It's just so incredibly tough to stop. Uh, when you flip up any of them, Ice Prison, back to the Roar, or Rivalry, back with the Roar, it's just incredible. And Roar will always resolve because all you're going to do is you're just going to normal any one of them, go Bailings, don't use any effect, and just pass. This is when you absolutely need it. Some Most of the time, with this meta, this hands could, could play through interruptions, but going second, if you're playing combo deck, just set fly. Uh, that's why you play more traps as well. You just side out a bunch of monsters for the traps. Uh... You play double spinning, double Jaguar in case you banish one of them. Uh, don't worry about Stalio. Honestly, trust me. Don't worry about Stalio. You're just getting imbued. You play very conservative. We're only playing Ash because you could add it back with Wolf. We're not playing Ash because of its actual effect. Yes, it's it's good. Best hand trap. But one, two Ashes won't do shit. You try and pair the Ashes with your traps. But the idea behind the Ashes is that you get it back with Wolf for free. Three Desires, just get a plus. Uh, you don't play Sign and Mining because this deck, you don't want in, in a trap deck, you don't want to be discarding your traps. Uh, Sign of Mind is only good if you discard your Grave Effects. I don't want to go Neg 1. I understand you're getting Gazelle, but just fucking stupid. You don't gain anything. And these are the traps we play. Uh, Sign to Nibiru because it auto kills the Mirror. And a Needle Ceiling Solemn goes in. And uh, in terms of going first, you're protected with uh, Searchable, Salamon, Great Roar, as well as Solemn Judgment. You don't need to play Anti Spell just because you have a Searchable, Salamon, Great Roar. <laughs> it's Searchable and Solemn. So you're, you're, you're protected from cards like that. And I prefer more cards for going second. Going second, you put in like Ice Prison, goes in, uh, Neil Saint Nibiru, and you just take out a bunch of monsters, take out even Desires, because your Desires is not resolving going second. If you're facing a combo deck, uh, they're just going to negate the Desires. You guys understand that? I even, like, it's debatable to side out Will and, and Circle as well. Like, yeah, I would. Side out all these five. They're not resolving. Like, this is the thing you guys don't understand about traps. I understand trap decks more than anyone, trust me. If you're going second against a combo deck that puts up four negates, let's say you're facing Pendulum. Your desires is never fucking resolving. You're not playing on your turn. You're only playing by getting rid of the field first. So what the fuck are the spells doing? You can't even draw enough monsters. You'd have to take out these five. You'd have to take out one Spinny, one Jaguar, uh, one Foxy, one Debug. Like shit, like stuff. Maybe I'll keep the Debug. Like maybe two Foxy, like one of everything. And just play the bare minimum monsters and all traps. And you're going to draw one of your like 10 monsters and five traps. Set five, have one monster. And with that monster, you kill in the following turn. That's the idea behind it. This is the extra deck. I put in the Nightmare Phoenix after I lost that one fucking card and one Zephyr Path. Uh, one Lingaribo, which I guess you can take out for Hita. I don't play Baguska because I respect Nibiru and I always play him around that and try to have the best plus possible. My Salamander Great Gift version is right here. Uh, as you see, there's no Salamander Great Mole, but I think you should play it. I would remove maybe a Buffer Low for an extra Mole. Uh, it's very important. Uh, maybe an, uh, yeah, 14 hand traps. You could play more like a 42 card deck, 43 card deck. Which is fine in this version. If you banish one roar or one rage, gift is the one you search turn one. If they lightning storm or feather duster, anything they do doesn't fucking matter. Like what back row the, against your deck, they're gonna side cosmic cyclones, uh, lightning storms, shit like that. They're gonna use the cosmic cyclone right off the top, thinking you have a roar or a rage. Really, you have a gift, and then uh, you just chain draw two, send your follow up with mole, send a foxy, so you're guaranteed to follow up. You send a grave effect if you need it, or you can just draw two. And you just discard or give effect. It's very important. Uh, it's very good. Uh, hand traps for this meta. Uh, if you're playing against a trap deck, you just substitute some of the hand traps for, for the back row cards. And in this version, we're playing Baguska, uh, which if you want to, you can play one. I don't really think it's needed to play rank four. Anyways, that's the Silent Mangrave video. We're nearing 25 minutes, so I don't want to post all the other videos. If you guys do like Silent Mangraves, let me know. Obviously, 10 best deck, but this is the second best deck, especially with the trap. Fuck this hand trap version. Uh, Gift is gonna be the hand trap, but if you don't, know, just stick with traps. Traps are the best way, first or second. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace! <laughs>